What is up you guys? It's time for love. Just kidding. No, I thought that was actually pretty weird. Anywho, another fact video. Facts about February. It's cold. All right, I'm just gonna jump right into it. February, the last month of winter, is the second month of the year. It has 28 days, but every four years during leap year, it has 29 days. And this year is actually leap year. So for those who have a birthday on the 29th, happy birthday. <laughs> According to Dexter.com, February was added to the Roman calendar in 713 BC. Over time, the length of February changed. It got as few as 23 days. But when Julius Caesar remade the Roman calendar, he assigned February to have 28 days, normal years, and then 29 days, leap years, which occurs every four years. The month is named for the Latin word februum. Februum, I'm sure I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, I apologize, which means purification, purify, pure. In Welsh, they call February Ye Misbach. Ye Misbach? Ye Mis, Ye Misbach. Ye Misbach. Uh, which means little month. I apologize for completely butchering that. Yeah, I don't speak Welsh, I, I don't know. I can't do accents. I wish I could, but I. I can't. I can try, but I'm not good at it. Anywho, according to popculturenight.com and or wiki, along with January, February was one of the last months to be added to the Roman calendar since the Romans originally considered winter a monthless period. In quote, the original 10 month, 304 day, Roman calendar didn't work for long because it didn't align with the seasons. King Numa Populus reformed the calendar around 700 BC by adding the months of January, Unioris, and February, Februaris to the original 10 months, which increased the year's length to 354 or 355 days. After a few hundred years, the 365 day Julian calendar was introduced by Julius Caesar in 45 BC and replaced the Roman calendar. Symbols of February, we have the gemstone, amethyst. Fitting because according to Wiki, amethyst comes from the Cohen Greek, translating it into not drunken or not intoxicate. The ancient Greek would wear amethyst and they would have it carved into vessels and believes that it will help prevent intoxication. And I say this is fitting because February, purification, and amethyst, more or less, the belief of keeping someone clean. We have the flower primrose. The Latin word primus means first. This also connects with the fact that primroses bloom early in the spring. In Norse lore, Freya is the goddess of love and the primrose is very sacred to this goddess. So in rituals, when they want to honor the goddess of love, they will lay out primroses for her. In other cases, primroses are also a representation of women. It is also understood that the five petals on a primrose represent the various stages of life. Birth, initiation, followed by consummation, then there's repose, and in the end, death. Finally, we have the zodiac for February. We have Aquarius, which is January 21st through February 19th, and Pisces, February uh, 20th through March 20th. Moving on to history, popculturematics.com. Looking at February 1st, 1884, the Oxford Dictionary was debuted. 1887, the area known as Hollywood was found. February 3rd, 1690, the first paper money in America was issued today in the colony of Massachusetts. February 3rd, 1870, the 15th Amendment was ratified in the US, granting every citizen, regardless of race, the right to vote. February was also a big month for Walt Disney because he released many of his films in this month. We have 1938's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs was released. February 5th, 1953, Peter Pan was released. February 7th, 1940, Pinocchio was premiered. February 15th, 1950, Cinderella was opened in the theaters. It was one of the biggest films of the year and was re-released many times, 1957, 1965, 1973, 1980, 81, and 1987. 
Going back to February 4th, 2004, Facebook was launched at thefacebook.com. February 6th, 1952, Queen Elizabeth II succeeded to the British throne. February 7th, 1964, the video first arrived in the United States. February 7th, 1982, Superman, the movie was broadcast on American television for the first time. It was in two parts, continued the following night. February 8th, 1998, the first female hockey game in Olympic history took place. Finland defeated Sweden 6 to 0. I think that's really cool. February 11th, 1990, Nelson Mandela, the leader of the movement to ban South African apartheid, was released from prison after 27 years. February 11th, 1914, the first stone of Washington, D.C.'s Lincoln Memorial was put into place. February 14, 1920, the League of Women Voters formed in Chicago, Illinois. 2005, YouTube.com was launched. Later that month, it was actually official and open for people to upload videos. February 16, 1968, Healyville, Alabama was the first town to use the 911 emergency number. Okay, I, so I had to do, I had to look this one up just in case my eyes were deceiving me. No, there is a natural place called Haleyville, Alabama. And it's spelled the same way as you spell my name. Imagine going to Haleyville High School in Haleyville, Alabama, and your name is Haley. Huh, that's crazy to think about. I'm sure there's a lot of people named Haley who go to Haleyville High School and is in Haleyville, Alabama. But I mean, like, still, that's still so cool. <laughs> I am putting that on my bucket list. I, Haley, am going to go to Haleyville, Alabama, and maybe go to the school, Haleyville High School, because why not? And, uh, yeah, that's on my bucket list, so, yep. Maybe I'll get a video on that one. Ooh, that'd be really fun. Bro trip, just kidding. I've never thought to Haley so many times in a video. Anywho, continuing. February 18th, 1885, Mark Twain's The Adventure of Huckleberry Finn was published for the first time. February 22nd, 2006, iTunes sold its brilliant music download to 16 year old Alex Astrovisky. Astrovisky. His last name. I don't know how to pronounce it. I do apologize about that. Hmm. 16 year old Alex of West Bloomfield bought Speed Up Sound by Coldplay. He later got a phone call from Steve Jobs himself and won a lot of iPods and Mac stuff. I think that's really cool. I mean, that's, I didn't even know that was a thing, but apparently it is. Uh, that's a, definitely a one in a million chance. Billion chance, sorry, one in a billion. Okay, enough about history. Let's finish this video off with holidays. Going back to nationaltoday.com. Of course, we have Groundhog Day on February 2nd and Valentine's Day on February 14th. Oh, I forgot. How could I forget? Super Bowl. In February, here in the United States, the Super Bowl is super big. It's generally held around the first Sunday of the month. February 4th, we have World Cancer Day. February 11th, we have International Day of Women and Girls in Science. And National Make a Friend Day. I mean... I don't have a lot of friends, but if y'all want to be your friends with me, I am more than happy to be that. Yeah. yeah. February 12th, we have Abraham Lincoln's birthday. February 15th, we have Single Awareness Day. February 17th, we have President's Day. And Random Act of Kindness Day. I hope you guys are doing that every day. I mean, it doesn't hurt. February 20th, National Love Your Pet Day. Always, every day. And since I work at a pet store, uh, I got to love on puppies all the time. <laughs> February 25th, we have Mardi Gras. February 26th, we have Ash Wednesday. And finally, February 27th, National Pokemon Day. Guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. A couple years ago, I made a video called Facts About Valentine's with Joyce Lamore and two fact about Valentine's. So if you guys are interested in about that, you can click up here on this card to check that video out. 
I will also be continuing my hunt for hearts. For those who don't know, last year, my friend and I, Lily and I, we went around to Loveland to search for these hearts that are located all over Loveland and they look like bees. And so, yeah, we went on a mission last year to try and go find all of them. However, we couldn't find all of them and turns out there are newer ones too. So I asked my friend if she wanted to join me again this year and she said yes. So hopefully we will be able to go around again and find the rest of the hearts. This time it's gonna be a little tricky because um, I don't know where all the hearts are and it'll be a little more spread out and a little more random. So yeah, but I think I have a plan, so hopefully. <laughs> So yeah, stay tuned for that. I actually made a video a couple years ago about, a little more about Loveland because we are known as the city with hearts because during February, during Valentine's, we are pretty big in love and art. And so, yeah. So if you want to learn more about that, you can also click up here to watch that video. But yeah, I think that is it for today. Until then, hope to see you all in the fun papers. Guys, thank you all so much for watching. Please leave any likes, comments, questions, concerns down below. And yeah, one, oh frick. It's been a while since I've done this. Guys, thank you all so much for watching. As always, please leave, me, leave any likes, comments, questions, concerns down below. And until then, peace out.